can't believe you took my ear in for questioning. Nerves must be sharp. It does look bad. No denying it. Can't imagine what Liam thinks. Oh. <laughs> Face on you. Oh, babe, this is grapefruit. It's well sour. Want to have something else then? No, Ta, it's a good fat burner, this is. Not an ounce of fat on you. Yes, well, that's thanks to these bad boys. <laughs> anyway, cancel out the gallon of hot chocolate I had last night. Oh, I'll text her later. Tell her we're here if she needs us. You know what? I've seen a different side to you lately. You've been such a good friend to Maria, babe. Mm. Oh, she's kind of family. Got to do it, haven't you? Hey, come here. There's no shame mm. in being kind, you know. Mm. Come here, well, let's knock your face off. <laughs> mm. uh, uh. Oh, you've hardly touched your scrambles. Have I been a bit too heavy handed with the chives? No, no, it's fine. I'm just not hungry. Oh. That Casmon's got a lot to answer for. I hope they put an APB out on a. A what? All points bulletin. We've seen it on CSI, haven't we, Roy? You would need the British version, which APW, all points warning, to prevent her leaving the country. Although I believe they'd only do that if she was a suspect. You know, she's not, is she? I am. Oh, try not to fret, love. I'm sure they'll sort everything out soon. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get dressed. What for? Shall I answer that? No. Well, the phones have been going mad this morning. So called friends wanting all the gory details. Well, I've got to go to work. I'll come back in a few hours and see how you are. I thought I had a happy marriage. I believed my granddaughter was an honorable person. How could I have been so wrong? Can't stop thinking about Yasmin. I've been calling her, she won't pick up. Well, it, it is a huge betrayal. She'll need time to process things. 45 years of her life she gave to that man. That's nearly half a century. He turns around and does the dirty on her. Yeah. Well, telling lies, it's never come easy to me either. I can't comprehend how people do it. That's why you're one in a million. Apparently, it's been going on for seven years. Seven years. I mean, b b being able to sustain that level of duplicity is unimaginable. That's just one of the reasons why I know that I'm marrying the right man. How lucky am I? Sweetheart, you really? Mm, that's on my way to physio. I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Charming. Oh. Sam's so Kevin coming? He's not. We, uh, we decided to call it a day. What? How can you do that to you when you're in this state? Actually, Gary, it was me, not him. Why? Mum, why? You two were sorted. You were going to move in with him. Yeah, well, that was before. I showed him a photo of my burns. Well, I should have seen his face. He'd be sick of No, he'll have been shocked, that's all. You've got to stop talking like this, Mum. I'm not stupid. I know what I saw. Mm. But I don't want his pity, and I don't want him feeling like he's stuck with me because nobody else will have me. And how do you know what he's feeling? Did you talk to him about this? No. It was already bad enough for the two of us. I didn't want to pick over the bones of it. So I told him he was nothing more than a burden. Oh, Mum. Cruel to be kind, Gary. You know what? I'm not having this. This is mad. I've got to speak to him. Don't you dare. I made my mind up and that's it. You promise me you'll stay away from him. Promise me. <sighs> got your bacon, boy. It was tight. I know it's not going to change anything, but... It'd be much easier if we was women, eh? Just watch a sad film, eat a load of ice cream and have a good cry. <laughs> At least that's what they do in the films. Men just get drunk, go out and punch someone. Yes. 
Not that you can be punching anything, risk wrecking your hands again. I mean, they're your bread and butter, aren't they? No one changes a carburetor like you. Look, well, Ty, thanks for me butting, mate. Yeah. Well, if you need another one, just let us know, eh? Annie, all I'm saying is that a modest uh, terraced house. Yeah, okay, so I know it's not really palatial, but uh, you live your life like a young Imelda Marcos. Uh, look, uh, I've got to go, look. Can I, can I talk about this later? Yeah. Which has given you grief? Yeah, honestly, it's like it's been like an education. He's got like a mountain of clothes and uh, a hairdo appliances that look more at home in a torture chamber. High maintenance, then, yeah? Yeah, I love it. So come on, buddy, how'd you get on at the physio? Not good. Now the back's no better, so I've been told to stick to light duties. For how long? A couple of months. No circuit training, no PT. Right, well, listen, you'd best call your clients and cancel their appointments and uh, see if we can find some cover. Well, I can do that. I'm just a bit worried about cost. I mean, it's not going to come cheap, is it? No, some of the clients are going to want refunds. We don't have the cash to cover this. I'm sorry to drop us in it. I mean, I'm not good for much, but I can catch up on admin, that sort of stuff. It's not your fault. Right, well, um, come on. I'm going to have to put some pressure on Sharif and get him to pay that money back now. That's fair enough. We have been patient with it. Because if he doesn't, I honestly don't know how we're going to keep this gym afloat. in the morning. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a blast of naff 70s pop to set you up for the day. That is not naff. That is a classic. Yeah. Does it have to be so loud, love? I hope there's nobody in next door. It's loud. I beg to differ. In fact, that'll be the noise police mm. right now. Mm. Oh, hi, Sarah. Oh. Yeah. Gosh, it's a bit early for a disco, isn't it? I could hear you all the way down the street. Hiya. Hey. Sarah. What can we do for you? Um, well, it's about the flats. I know it's a while off, but I was just wondering if you had any idea of moving in days, because I've heard nothing. Yeah, well, Benny's working on a schedule, so she'll be able to let you know in the next week or so. Brilliant. Excited. Oh, too right. I can't wait. Well, thankfully you won't have to. Not too long, anyway. <laughs> right, hey, don't forget, I want an invite to your housewarming party. <laughs> See you, love. Sharif, why aren't you returning my calls? I'm worried about you. I have just been to the gym and they said they haven't seen you at all today. Well, I'm going after her. She needs to know what she's done to my family. See, no, it only make things worse. But why she's still here? Think how my grand's gonna feel if she sees her. I know. So if she had one ounce of decency, she'd get the hell out of here. Well, it's up to your grandma to tell her, not you. He made this mess. It's up to him to clear it up. Oh, I'll just turn you down, Mrs. Grimling, so your ears are starting to look like two bits of bacon. Right. Um, you might as well keep that on, you're not stopping. What are you on about? I've got Mrs. Davies meeting at quarter past for a demi wave. She's cancelled. All right, no worries. Well, I'll just clean the back and wait for my next client. Yeah, that's the thing. There isn't any, really. They've all sort of jibbed on you. You kidding me? Look, I know you've not done anything, obviously, but try and look at it from their point of view. You know, you're up on a murder rap. Last thing people are going to want is you anywhere near them, especially with a pair of scissors in your arm. David! For all they know, you could be next Sweeney Todd or Weatherfield. Are you for real? Look, all I know is if you do stick around, you're just going to be bad for business, that's all. And look, when things were tricky with me, I mean, Grant told me to stay clear, and it's the best thing I could have done, really. Sorry. You should do something different this time. Oh, pick a theme. <laughs> Only renewing our vows. Only? You want a day to remember, don't you? What are your passions? Um, apart from Gail. Don't really know. Um, oh, I was very keen on Elvis back in the day. Yeah, I don't really know if I could cope with you in a white fringe jumpsuit. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, glad I'm seeing you. Wanted to set up some more personal training sessions. Uh, no can do. I'm on the subs bench. Back's still bad, sorry. Bethany, do us a favour and put the kettle on before you go, will you? I'm not your slave. Do it yourself. I'm trample mudding all over the floor. Gail, I'll have me goods for garters. I'll still be hanging around the gym, though, so whenever you need me, I'm all yours. Oh, yeah. Some um, biscuits go down well and all, yeah? 
Got to look after the workers. What's wrong? Nothing. Gary, I can see you're upset. It's Mum. Why is she not taking turn with the worst, is she? No, no, nothing like that. She's, um, she's been Kevin off. No. I thought they were really happy together. Do you want to go for coffee? Because I've heard um, problem shared and all that. Yasmin coping. Oh, she's putting on a brave face, but... Do you know, that happened to me oh, a long time ago. My husband, Len, he went off with a floozy. Men? <laughs> exactly. Look, well, you tell her, it will get easier with time. You're not pop won't be long, love. Cheers, Michelle. Kev not playing out today, then? No, uh, him and Anna have broke up. You should get a T-shirt saying, she bin me. Uh, Michelle, could you uh, spare us a couple of lemons? One, then, seeing as it's you. Oh, and um, while you're at it, give us a cheeky half. Be OK as long as I'm quick. Have you uh, heard much from Maria? No, she's stressed up to her eyeballs. Police are still all over her. The whole thing is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, there is absolutely no way that she would hurt anyone. Mm. I mean, no one's saying she's perfect. We all know she's done crazy stuff in the past. Me and Fizz nearly broke up because of a... Two-faced pig! Well, but I was just going to so say... It's so lovely to me telling me that you were on my side. And I am. So what you stood here for, slugging me off, then? You know Cassie's trying to ruin my life, Tyrone. And it looks like she might actually succeed, but who cares, eh, as long as you lot have got something to gossip about? Honestly, wasn't like that. Calm down, Maria, love. You're among friends here. Oh, really, Rita? Well, it looks to me like you're a load of vultures picking over the bones. Why don't you come through to the back and we can oh, talk Leave me alone, Michelle. Oh. Michelle, you are right. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, you should sit down, Michelle. Get your breath back. Michelle, I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt you. Is that what you said to Kaz? Maria? Don't, don't be nice to me either. I don't deserve it. Maria? Everyone hates me in there. I don't even blame them. Why? What's happened? I've just pushed Michelle. What if I've hurt a baby? Hey, why don't you come back tonight? I'm not making it What about your work? I don't worry about work. Aiden can sort that. Come on, I'm not going to take no for an answer. Return to Coronation Street in half an hour. Afternoon. Afternoon. Is he at the gym? If you're referring to your old granddad, then no, he's not. Where is he then? I ask you the same question. Well, he's not been home. Not been at work. You're not covering for him, are you? Me? Please. Yes, I'm less than impressed with the way he behaves. All right. Well, if you do see him, tell him I want a word. Same goes. Yeah. Uh, I see you breaking it. You're right to be scared. Look, Kevin, I've said sorry, man. What, what more do you want me to say? Sorry? Sorry's not going to make Hannah better. Sorry, it's not going to fix the fallout. Yeah, I know, but would you... Listen, I'm not going to do anything now, but I'll tell you this. I ain't gonna forget it. You better watch your back. She showed him a photo of her burns. Reckon he was sticking by the side of them. Never. He was probably just shocked, that's all. And that's what I said. She thought he meant he couldn't cope. Oh, you poor mum. <sighs> yeah, she's scarred for life now. And once she's got over the shock, she's got to deal with the grief. She's gonna need all the support she can get. Exactly. That's why I thought leaving Kevin's the worst thing she could do. Well, then you need to tell him. You need to have a talk with him. Uh, just... Can't have promised. Yeah, but... No, I made her a promise. All I can do now is be there for her. If I were you, I'd go to the medical centre, just to be on the safe side. Well, I'm sure it's fine. Michelle, you can't afford to take any risks. What's he like? Anyone would think he's a father. <laughs> Right, the baby's incredibly well protected in there. There's abdominal muscles, uterus wall, amniotic fluid. Am I knocking you sick? You're right, I'm not squeamish. <laughs> but saying all that, 
You should get the doctor to give you the once over. Yeah, well, I would, but I can't leave this place, can I? Well, I'll mind the pub. Well, what about the bistro? Well, Nathan, the new sous chef, can cover for me. He'll be fine his own for a bit. Oh, thanks, Robert. Go back over there now, shouldn't I apologise? Well, I don't think that's a good idea. You're in no fit state, are you? I just lashed out. I mean, she was only trying to help me. Honestly, hon, Michelle is cool. She'll understand that it was an accident. No wonder everyone thinks that I've hurt Kaz. They don't. I'm going around denying it, and the next thing, I'm shoving a pregnant woman. I could see people looking at me either thinking, oh, look at the temper on her, I bet she did it. No, I've known them all for years, but they're doubting me, I can tell. Hey, will you calm down? There's plenty of us that are Team Maria. And then what about Liam if I go to prison? Who's going to look after him? It's not going to come to that. Kaz will turn up, it'll all be fine. And I'll tell you something else, the Rosses will feel flaming stupid and all. Yeah, and then they're just going to do me for Mary and Pablo, aren't they? No, they won't. They're pulling my life apart, Eva. They're this close to finding out that everything's a sham. OK, well, in that case, I think you should fess up. Why are you sitting in the dark? I don't suppose you've had anything to eat? I'll make you something. I'm so sorry, Zidane. I don't know how to tell you this. What is it? You've already lost your father. Now... Sharif's left too. I can't believe he's abandoned his family run away from his responsibilities. It's cruel. Oh, hello. I've been keeping an eye out for you. Well, that's me all over, isn't it? Very popular with the ladies. Yeah. You're full of yourself, <laughs> aren't you? You know what they say, Rita, if you've got it, flaunt it. So how's it all going with the flats? Because well, we've not heard a word. Well, all good. Everything's going according to plan. Oh, good, so then can we come and have a look around then? Well, they're very dangerous places, building sites. You'll probably better wait until we're, you know, further along. Can we not have a sneaky peek? Well, we can go now, if you like. Yeah, I mean, as long as you've got wellies, it's like a mud bath out there. Do I look like a woman who wears wellies? <laughs> <laughs> well, come to mention it, you know. As soon as there's something worth seeing, I promise I'll give you a shot. Smash it. Look forward to that. Brilliant. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. I can't wait to start choosing all the fixtures and fittings. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you later, love. Bye. What's up, Mikey? I'll take the pace. Why aren't you neck in feeling? You want to take it easy, mate. Looks like death warmed up. I should have you. You shouldn't be doing hard physical work. You should leave that to the real men. Real men? What, like you? Bully boy more like. <sighs> Ooh, feisty. I hope you've got the paramedics on speed dial. <laughs> Honestly, you want to get yourself down that cop shop and just tell him you want everything out in the open? I've Googled it. People get sent down for it. Babes, you have done an amazing thing here and nobody's got hurt, have they? No, but the police aren't going to see it like that, are they? You might end up with a really cool judge like Judge Rinder. E.T. was like a brave, selfless heroine with fabulous hair, can I just add? It is a wonderful love story, and you've sacrificed yourself. Yeah, I mean, I only did it as a favour for him. Sacrificed yourself so two gay guys could be together. I mean, I'm welling up here, babes. Eva, this is serious, this. And I'm not going to get Judge Rinder, am I? Hon, the point I'm trying to make is the police will see that you are a decent and honest person. Do you think? Yeah, absolutely. You can turn this around, I'm sure of it. I mean, it's got to be worth a shot, isn't it? OK, come on, let's do it quick before I change my mind. I'll phone Aidan, get him to give us a lift, yeah? Oh, Mark, can you speak up, please? 
Your voice is all muffled. Are you eating a pie? Right, if this is some kind of joke, it's not funny. You know, call me back when you finish playing silly beggars. Idiot. Ever since he won that open mic night at the Legion, he thinks he's Russell Howard. Well, mind, but he only went up against a pensioner who played castanets with his teeth. <sighs> Streetcars. I still can't hear. What, and you're giving Omar down the banks. Maybe, maybe the radio is... See? No? All sounds completely normal. I can hear every word clear as a bell. Yeah, right. Honestly, love, this has been going on for weeks and it's getting worse. Really. Street in half an hour.